Hey, this is Guildmaster Kent with you, and I'm the Guildmaster of God's Armies. Um, I have a small guild that I'm looking for people to grow in. Um, today, I'm going to talk about battles. Um, why we do them, what's the need of them, and what is the purpose of them. First ones I want to talk about is 10 and 100. Um, why do we do these? Well, it's very simple. Okay, Tens are done for crystals. That's the main purpose to do them. Because let's face it, doing the roll in uh, mist, okay, uh, Mm, you sometimes get them and sometimes you don't. Usually Friday you'll get them because the the uh, the uh, the world is better. But as a rule, through the week you don't usually uh, get a lot of crystals. But if you do a lot of tens, you get a lot of crystals. It's very important, okay, um, that we get those. Now with one hundreds, what is the purpose of one hundreds? Well, part of it is training for classic battles that's that's the most important thing that i can say about them is that it's training for the classic battles and we can grow ourselves as team players if we get the right mix um, and you you need to have your gates not so much the gates you don't use, but the gates you use at a high level. Um, like, you take the ones we use, okay, um, our active gates are no, which is at 11, uh, west, which is at level 6, east wall, which is at 11, and our keep is at 10. So, it's very important that you keep those up. Um, and you get bonuses and stuff like that, you know, for that. Um, it's it's extremely important that you keep those up. Now, when you get into classical battles, the, the best way to do classical battles is the whole guild together. Because you have ones that are stronger as clerics, and ones that are stronger as rogues, and ones that are stronger as warriors. And that helps you in battle. But when you have, you know, people from all over the world in your guilds, it's hard to get them together. But as a rule, what we want to do is battle back to back. So we need some people to stand up and be able to help us with that aspect and help us in that area of expertise. Um, and show us that we can do this. I mean, it is possible to battle back to back. There's groups that do it. There's guilds that do it. It takes a bit of a knack to do, but it can be done. And this is what we're looking to do. So, if you're game and you're willing to engage in this, I urge you to join us. The other battles I want to look at is Mist and Earth. Now, what is the purpose of mist battles? A lot of people are misunderstood and don't understand the reason for mist battles. Yes, you get monsters and all this, but that's not the main reason to do mist battles. The main reason to do mist battles is to stack lands and take lands from other guilds. The more you have, the higher you get on iron and wood. And the more gum, yummy, yummy stuff you get, and the more you can build your fortify fortification, and your guilds, and your your fortifying, and your your gates, and the more iron and wood you get, the more you can build. So it's very important that you get that. Um, as a rule, we as a rule hold two lands at a time. A lot of times we can hold three, so it's important. And then, now see, we battle, miss battles from Friday to Monday. 
and we concentrate on Agnes battles uh, from Tuesday to fr Thursday we usually do earth battles because earth get those wonderful blue crystals and those are so yummy to get because you can build your I get excited you can build your um, general higher and higher and higher because I actually have my orc king at level 55 and let me tell you when he hits I'm hitting a yummy amount you know I really am you know I'm hitting two and three thousand plus on most okay I also have layouts for fire wind earth and water so it's very important that you do that it's very important that you get those done and executed and designed uh, it's it's extremely important I can't stress that enough um, you know that's my gist on battles and I hope this helps and may God bless and keep you.